Well, hey everyone, this is Mindless Bow, and we are back for another collectibles video for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This time we are collecting the 33 coins that are in the difficulty mode known as a Madhouse, which I will note is very, very fun. It's actually kind of the way the game should be played, except for uh, the first fight with Mia here in the very beginning is pretty tough. Now, our first coin is just like the first coin on any difficulty. You have to go get the VHS tape, play it, and grab the lock pick that is at Clancy's feet, which you will see here. I put it in again just for the hell of it, just in case anyone hasn't done this yet. Where did you Oop, find this guy? Got me a notification. Hey, How fun. Perfect timing. But it is here on the floor once he gets around the looking down on the floor. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. There we go. Alright, and as usual, you need to go and basically plug it back into where it was plugged into before, into the locked drawer in the kitchen. And then you can end the videotape as you really don't need to watch it. We should all know by now that the pull chain underneath the fireplace unlocks the secret door into the basement. And then you just simply go back to the kitchen and collect your coin. This is perhaps the most annoying coin in the game especially if you're playing on uh, normal difficulty and you more or less need all but two coins if you did in fact get the 30 coin on the beginning hour demo. But in the madhouse you have plenty of coins, so... Alright, after our dinner date with Jack, Marguerite, and Lucas, the next coin is now hidden in uh, with the old vase trick that I believe they only did once in the normal difficulty, but it's in there and what's the living room and their entertainment center. Then we got down here after you defeat Jack in the garage, where in normal mode there was shotgun shells, there is now your third antique coin up here to the left of the ladder. Number four is where it was in easy or normal mode, to the right of the like second or third bobblehead in this drawer. Some of them are the same, some of them are different. Now number five is up in the rec room. And once again, they tried to get you with the vase trick here. Instead of it being on the furnace over there, or heater, whatever that is, it is in the vase. Now, instead of the next one being in the toilet like it was in normal mode, this one is in the back hallway. I'm keeping an eye out for Jack here because he is a real bitch in Madhouse difficulty. But it is here behind this painting that's on the floor, instead of on the wall where it belonged. Alright, we're back down in here in the drawing room after uh, solving the eagle puzzle. And this one is actually in the toilet this time, down here by the crow door. Alright, now we're down in the incinerator room where you get the dissection room key. This one, I believe there's usually gunpowder under here in normal mode, but underneath the gurney is coin number 8. Coin number 9 is down where the bobblehead is instead of being hidden in that alcove of the wall. So it's down here by the snake key door. And it's on the gurney right here. Number 10 is in the actual dissection room. A lot of these are very easy to miss because you're not just laying out. Yeah, it's over here in the box, stupid. There it is. Now we're finally outside, we got the three Cerberus keys, and before, in this little pull-down section underneath the back porch, was your weapon repair kit, so you can fix the, the new handgun you got. But now, it is a coin, and a yellow chem fluid. Number 12, we're, f we're in the old house now, and uh, it's right here where you put the spider shadow plinth, and it's right there on the shelf. Number 13 is, where is it? Oh, it's outside. Outside where you go get your last piece to the flamethrower. Just right around the corner. Alright, so we're going through the wall. We've unlocked the spider shadow plan finally. And right to your left here, right on the edge of the board, is antique coin number 14. Number 15 is past the crow key door and right next to where you plug in Marguerite's lantern and it's where it was in normal difficulty. 
number 16 is once you get up the ladder after fighting Marguerite the first time, it's here on this little uh, electrical junction box. 17 is after you finally defeat Marguerite and the gate dissolves. It's right there on the door. Now, coming back to where you would have got the grenade launcher, there's now an antique coin behind the Krog door in the drawing room. Alright, so number 19, after you get your snake key, you go up to the attic. And back where kind of uh, Jack's uh, renovation order from whoever he got renovations from, it's there on the shelf. All right, we're here at the testing center, and behind the exploding TV where you get the message from Asshole Lucas is coin number 20. All right. Right after you go through the room with all the explosives, right here to the left of the door is the antique coin and the dead end. And now the next one is, and you have to get this before you uh, drop the steps after going through uh, before you get the code like right after you get the code and face the fat men if you close down the steps you will not be able to get this coin all right number 23 here is in another very uh, tricky trap room there's a shitload of explosives in here I've already cleared them out as you can see and it's back where it was in the normal difficulty in the drawer here Once again, another one exactly where it was before, right across from the guy that gives you the actual code. Alright, so we're now we're finally on the ship. And the first one is going to be in the laundry room where you get the fuse to unlock the door to the steps, and it's back here on the washing machine. <laughs> Number 26 is on the fourth floor of the wrecked ship, and it's where the bobblehead is on that little ledge, only it's down here at the bottom. Number 27 is right outside of the save room with the item box. It's right here to the left on this little uh, end table bureau thingy. Watch out for the fat men here, they are a pain in the ass. Now number 28 is uh, where you first located her on the Mia videotape. It's in the next room here before that picture puzzle. And it's once again, tricky little vase trick. But, you know, we always find everything. Number 29 is up on the third floor of the wrecked ship when you're looking for the cable for the broken elevator. And right before you go into that room is antique coin number 29. Next, we got number 30. And you're down here on the, the bottom floor and it's right around the corner after you go through the corridor where you get jumped by the molded. Number 31 is where it's always been and unfortunately I fucked up this recording so I had to splice this from my let's play and turn off the audio but it's the, where the last coin is for the normal mode difficulty. Number 32 is after you finally get control of Ethan once again and you're on making your way out of the ship and it is right there. And last but not least, as we're making our way through to the mine shack, it is right here on the left side of the thing. So, once again, this is Mindless Bow. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again. Well, now, it's the end of the world. There's nowhere to go. But you got your boy, Mindless Bow, here. He's going to help you. Comment, subscribe, or like, and he'll maybe let you in his bomb shed. Oh, my. I'm watching.